uh, production, who we got on on stream, but Devin the, yeah, <laughs> the man himself, the myth, the legend, but not a TL, Devin <laughs> three thousand. Period. Um, getting into this set, we have um, what's it called, Pokemon Trainer and Rob. Now, if you haven't already gotten enough of this character, here's some more Rob for you guys today. Um, the Zamba, the, the aggression master when it comes to Rob. Um, playing Squirtle, and this is a little bit hard because of how, um, you know, a like kind of neutral oriented Squirtle is. It's just one of those things where it's just like Rob has to very, um, you know, space their moves very well. Because it's just like, if not, then you'll have a situation where <laughs> Squirtle's just like that, where you just kind of die sometimes. <laughs> Still good stuff on Devin to play a little bit slower in disadvantage, not try to always go look, go and look for the uh, the reversal uh, or ways to scrap and fight back on. Oh no, things are ah! dangerous, and that's I mean aggression master Zamba. He's been uh, he's shown off how not not necessarily little faith, but how he thinks Rob loses a lot more matchups than. Uh, a lot of players currently have the opinion of the character. That might be online, that might be not, but Rob is certainly a very, very strong character to say the least. Listen, but he said to say the O word. <laughs> we can't talk we don't we don't talk about that O word in this in this string here, thank you. Alright, either way. He subscribes to the theory that hey, if Rob is like, if Rob loses so many matchups, but has this big X factor in his kill combos, then I'm just gonna try and kill you before you kill me. And here we are. Zamba does not know how to wait. He does not know how, well, he knows how to be patient, but he doesn't know how to really camp you out all the time. He instead plays to the advantage of Rob, which is those quick, some of them, uh, a lot of his buttons are either quick or big or both. And he's looking to blow you up. I mean, for sure, but right now we're just seeing a situation where I was going to say that Zamba was almost about to have Devin lap them in percent. However, that's not the case here. They're both on, you know, their second stocks right now. However, Devin is actually close to losing their stock right now. Ooh, that was a very good um, little bit of a aggression at that point, trying to read an option that Zamba had. However, ooh, they need to really be careful if they want to spend any time living that high recovery is going to take their stock but for sure it's just a lot of situations where um you know Devin needs to kind of understand that like they have to be careful with Rob <laughs> I mean it, it, Rob is just so scary sometimes I mean I'm certain Dill has uh, excuse me Devin has a lot of experience with a different style of Rob in Dill's Rob and her more un, uh, more relaxed kind of style compared to Zombas, a lot who plays at a, a lot more of a feverish kind of pace. As we see these constant backfires, these constant resetting of ledge situations from Zamba, but Devin not able to really get anything started and almost stubborn with how he doesn't switch Pokemon very frequently. He's been playing stocks as Squirtle and Ivysaur and neglecting the Charizard, but I guess that's why Ivysaur can blow up characters just as much as Charizard can, perhaps even more if Zamba isn't careful. He just needs to put on that damage first. It's honestly really what we're seeing here is that I feel like um, Devin really doesn't see how Rob kind of controls the airspace. Like, there will be a lot of situations where they just try to be in the air and not really think about, like, what Rob wants to do when they're landing. They're only really concerned about how to kind of stop them from being in the air altogether, where they kind of feel like they just need to give them that space and just focus on what Rob wants to do after, because they have a lot of tools to deal with that. Oh, of course. Devin, you are at 185. Please switch to Charizard. I promise you Charizard isn't poison. <laughs> Speaking of poison, that's uh, yeah, that's an up throw. That's, that's certainly an up throw. <laughs> might as well be poison. Might be very much badly poisoned. Uh, if you are the uh, Ivysaur, though, Ivysaur can't get poisoned. Uh, well, it can't get poison touch because <laughs> I don't. I don't think Ivysaur in the games actually gets poison touch. It's only um. No, no, it's it's a poison type, so it can't get poisoned. What? It, we can't get poison, but it, I'm, I'm speaking towards the fact that it doesn't have poison touch with an ability that yes. a lot of Pokemon has. It's, uh, it's ability to overgrow, I believe. Or, um, yeah. a chlorophyll. 
Corfield, that's it, yeah. <laughs> Pokemon! <laughs> not, not me knowing that word. <laughs> um, surprised, however. We're just gonna have to take in this noontime scenery right here. Well, we're just, um, you know, kind of gazing at the spectacle that is Rob. Yeah. <laughs> Rob's certainly a spectacle sometimes. He he makes stocks disappear, like pulling a rabbit out of a hat. I or, mean, or putting the rabbit in the hat, maybe, depending. <laughs> Listen, we're just gonna have to watch this circus show go on. I mean, uh, no, no hate Rob. to Rob as a character, but sometimes Rob just be in the circus. Look at look, He's dead. <laughs> look at this clown trick we're going on over here. <laughs> Your sock is here? No, it's not. Okay. Goodbye. That's that's the X factor that a lot of characters uh, have, as, yeah. and, and Ivysaur has it as well, able to blow you up like uh, for nothing if you put yourself in the wrong position. The problem is Rob, uh, the, what makes Rob so good at it is he has combos into his big uh, haymaking tools. And if you're light enough, yeah, no, that just that just kind of happens. Um, <laughs> Squirtle things, uh, Squirtle dies. <laughs> that was so sad to see. <laughs> they missed the tech on the platform right there. They died for it, and now they are a whole stop down. This could be a really bad situation for Devin if they don't know how to kind of get their advantage going and make a kill off of Zombo right now. Yeah, it's. It's been a long, it's been a long road thus far for Devin, and very quickly losing two stocks back to back is uh, certainly frustrating. But he seems to be gaining a little bit more control of the pace of this match. Yet yeah, every time Zamba hits the ground, a down tilt or something is coming out. A down tilt, a jab, a, a, a gyro, and now the juggle keeps coming because of it. Like Zamba is just control Ooh. over the offensive state of this game. He's able to take Devin out of his comfort zone like so easily and so reliably. Oh, that was so good. That was such a good movement right there. Zamba is having some pretty shimishy movement stuff right here. Um, I'm going to be completely honest. They did get the um, gyro at the ledge there, and I was really expecting them to go for an up smash read because it was there. But they went for, you know, grab. But I mean, they're, they're two stocks up, so there's not really too much to worry about. You just definitely need to ooh, hopefully see a switch here soon. No. Before, okay. We're never going to see the Charizard. I, I, I've given up hope. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you can never give up hope. This is Devin3000. I don't think you know who Devin3000 is. I know that Devin won't choose Charizard unless he very much, ha unless he's forced on Charizard. That just doesn't seem to be Damn. Devin's style <laughs> as drop from Halo kill move. Look how big this is. Look how big this is. Look how look how much size that uh, just a circle on the screen. <laughs> I mean, Rob yeah. Backer. 